more questionable pieces of Donald Trump's taxes are being revealed, leading to more legal trouble for him. In 2015, before he was the president, and before he first refused to release his taxes, he promised to preserve more than 150 acres of woodlands on his Seven Springs estate. This earned him a $21.1 million tax break, helped by a $56.5 million valuation of the property. This is more than double the value three Westchester County towns that each contain some of the property assessed. New York Attorney General Letitia James is investigating whether the Trump Organization valued the property of Seven Springs improperly, according to court filings from August. It also looks at other valuations, tax burdens and conservation easements at Trump's other holdings in Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York City. Eric Trump was deposed in the case on Monday. The Washington Post obtained the appraisal the tax break was based on. It seems to have relied on assertions and misleading conclusions that raised the value of Trump's charitable gift, as well as his tax break. Commercial real estate firm Cushman and Wakefield wrote the appraisal. Its New York City headquarters is in a building Trump CEO owns. The two 12-acre estate was valued on the assumption a future buyer could build and sell 24 mansions on the property. Trump himself tried to build at Seven Springs a golf course and later other projects but these efforts were held up because of local opposition and environmental disputes. The appraisal was also built on the claim that the land that was preserved under the easement had no economic value on its own. One independent appraiser called that crazy. This is not a good appraisal, and it's misleading, and it's thin as all get out, said the first independent appraiser what you get is appraised values for these 24 hypothetical lots that appear to be much higher than they ought to be. In addition to the tax break for the conservation easement, Trump classified the property in 2014 as an investment property and not a personal residence. This allowed him to deduct $2.2 million in property taxes as a business expense. It doesn't seem it's being used as a rental property, as it's only brought in between $5,000 and $10,000 in total income since 2015. The Trump Organization's website says, Today, Seven Springs is used as a retreat for the Trump family. Seven Springs was built in 1919 by Eugene Meyer, the former owner of the Washington Post. Built in the style of a French chateau, it includes 60 rooms and three swimming pools. The property then became part of Yale University, followed by Rockefeller University. Trump bought it in 1995 for $7.5 million, intending to transform it into a private golf course.